Today, today I'm going to be talking about the Iron PGM, which is uh, Thermo Fisher or Life Technologies uh, compact next generation sequencing system. Uh, and that offers a lot of advantages for forensic analysis. In particular, it allows us to target particular segments of the genome uh, that hold uh, interesting markers for forensic purposes. And um, the main aim of the work is um, really that we do, is really to, to be looking at markers that can add value to forensic analysis on top of normal STR analysis or mitochondrial sequencing. One of the things we can do is to look at uh, punctual variation in the genome, that's just single base changes. And uh, if you put the primers very close to that base change and do the PCR, then the amplified fragments can be very, very short. In fact, in theory, they can be 41 base pairs in length. Um, they carry the base change and the two primers of about 20 base pairs. Uh, and that allows us to look at very, very degraded DNA. Uh, if the fragments are very, very short, then there's much more success rate with very degraded DNA. On top of that, SNPs add a lot of uh, information about physical characteristics and the ancestry of the person um, and really provide um, important information which we can put on top of just normal identification to provide investigative leads, for instance, when we don't have a, a DNA database hit. I think the main impact on uh, forensic analysis as it stands at the moment is we give investigators more information from the same um, uh, test uh, hopefully we can combine markers that provide identification, but on top of that, once we've identified uh, uh, a person uh, or provided a match with uh, DNA at the scene of crime and the suspect, uh, we can provide information, if there isn't any uh, uh, match between the suspect and the scene of crime, provide information about their likely physical appearance, ancestry, things like that. And um, there's really a lot of interest in providing um, additional analysis for other forms of nucleic acid like RNA that can provide uh, information about the source of the, uh, uh, of the uh, material that's picked up at the scene of crime. Um, and things like age estimation, which uh, will be looking at patterns of methylation in, in DNA. All these things can be combined in the PGM, the iron PGM, which uh, again is, has appeal because we're doing a single tube test and getting a lot of information. Thank you.